my name is Shaquette and I'm from the Simplify product team. In this video, I'll show you how quickly a Simplify user can deploy a new remote agent. The remote agent is a crucial component to enable a secured connection between Simplify and a remote environment. You can either pull alerts from a remote environment or push actions that should be performed in the remote environment. This secured connection is enabled thanks to the publisher, which is a server located between Simplify and the remote agents. The publisher is a passive component. It is waiting for Simplify, or the remote agent, to push data and commands. It will sort until it will be pulled by the other side of this route. My Simplify instance has a paired publisher, and my agent machine is a clean Docker ready CentOS machine. When I navigate to the remote agent screen, I have the plus button to deploy a new agent using the new agent wizard. On the first step, you'll be asked to decide whether you want to deploy your agent using an installer or by Docker deployment. We recommend using the Simplify Docker deployment, as this is much easier and saves some time of preparing the relevant server before starting the installation. We also offer manual installation for customers who don't want to use Docker. For this video, let's use the Docker deployment as an example. On the second step, you'll be asked to define the agent name and the environment. The name will be used later when configuring integrations and connectors, so it's recommended to use an indicative name. Then, the system will generate the Docker command with all the needed information. You can just copy and paste this command on the agent's machine, and within several seconds, you will have an active agent. The only thing that is left is to perform a connectivity check to make sure everything is good and to start working with your new agent. If something went wrong, the wizard will give you a link to the Simplify Knowledge Center that describes frequent issues and how to handle them. Now that we've understood how to deploy your agent, let's see how to monitor it. Monitoring remote agents can be a bit more challenging than other Simplify components, as sometimes the agent will be located in an environment that you cannot access, for example, the customer's environment. Especially for that need, we've created some simple tools and indications. Let's check them out. Navigate to the remote agent screen. At first, you can see each one of the remote agent status. If one of the agent status is error, it means that you have some connection issues. Now, navigate to the special page that we've created for agents troubleshooting in Simplify Knowledge Center and see all the frequent issues you might face and how to solve each one of them. The second important tool to better understand the issue is the agent logs. The remote agent is automatically sending all logs to Simplify through the publisher. You can easily access the logs through the Simplify UI by clicking on the information button and another click on view agent logs. When clicking on this button, it will download the logs of the last 24 hours. For older logs, go to the dedicated logs folder, which is stored on the server. Now let's see an example of a use case in Simplify Platform. Each integration in the marketplace can be configured with a remote agent. In this example, we will configure two integrations, email integration that will be used to ingest a phishing email into the platform and Active Directory integration that will be used for enrichment purposes. We will start off by configuring the Active Directory integration under the relevant environment. After you fill in all the credentials, Mark the Run Remotely checkbox. Choose the agent from the list. Save the configuration and test the integration. To configure the email connector, first download the email integration and then access the connector's model. Add a new email connector and mark the Run Remotely checkbox. Configure the credentials and save the connector. This use case describes a scenario of an employee receiving a phishing email. As an MSSP, I will want to check who is the employee that received the email and will need to access the customer's Active Directory server. As I've configured the integration to run remotely, I can extract the information easily by connecting to their local server. As you can see, I ran an enrichment action that enriches the entity with Active Directory properties and will then run several actions to further investigate the case. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you'll enjoy the remote agents and the business potential it enables.